I think that we can all agree that stepping on a Lego is one of the most unnecessarily painful things in the entire world. Like how can this thing be so small yet so painful at the same time? And about two years ago or so, I built the Lego socks. And they were socks that had a flexible Lego board on the bottom so that as you walked over Legos, you could pick them up as you go. Recently, I was re-watching an old episode of The Office and it reminded me of David Wallace's invention. So this is a vacuum. It's like a shop vac type of thing. <laughs> Teaches kids how to pick up their own toys. And that got me thinking about my Lego invention. You see, I've seen a few different makers create Lego sorters before, but they were all done by hand and you had to dump all the Legos in, shake it around until all of them sorted down to their different sizes. So I want to combine David Wallace's invention idea with those Lego sorters to create the Lego Suck It. Suck It, that's what it's called. Oh, okay. Huh? Catchy. Kids will love it. I like it. So the first order of business was to track down my shop vac, which I've actually never used, so I wanted to make sure that it was gonna have good suction, and guess what I found out? It has fantastic suction. So the kid's making the noise to yeah. pick it up? No, 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 that's the, that's the vacuum noise. Oh, okay. And so jumping into the design, I've got this clear eight inch diameter tube, and I thought it would work really well if we just took this and split it into three equal sections so that we would be able to stack these on top of each other with some 3D printed brackets in between and organize our Legos. And I'm like 99% sure it's supposed to be Lego. You're never supposed to say Legos. The plural of Lego is Lego, but I do not care, I'm saying Legos. So now I headed on over to my computer and first I cleaned up all the unreleased inventions I have laying around. Then I hop into Fusion 360 so I could start designing what I thought these 3D printed brackets were gonna look like. Yes, I know I use a trackpad for CAD, but I also played around a little bit with the colors so I knew what they were gonna look like. So once it was done, I had a design that was looking a little bit something like this. I decided to actually go for a four stage design instead of a three like I showed you earlier. In the top section here is where the shop back hose is gonna go in. Then we have the largest holes that will hopefully catch all of the big Lego pieces. Then as you go down, the holes progressively get smaller. So each stage is gonna have different size Legos and hopefully it sorts them out perfectly. Then the bottom bracket hooks directly into the shop vac and that is where all the air suction is gonna come in from. One really cool thing I'm gonna do with the design actually wasn't done in Fusion 360. It's gonna be done in the 3D printers. I'm gonna print the pieces with zero top and bottom layers. So just the infill is going in there and that's gonna allow more air flow to pass through so it sucks those Lego pieces in really good. It probably doesn't make any sense, but I'll show you guys in a little bit. Let me let me get these set up. So I got all of those going onto the 3D printers and it's actually pretty boring just waiting for these to print, but I did all of the colors and I was just waiting, waiting, waiting for the moment that I had every single piece I was gonna need to start putting this invention together. We've got the top bracket, the big holes, the medium holes, the small holes, and the bottom bracket. And like I was mentioning earlier how I didn't print any top and bottom layers, you can now see that it's just the infill pattern, so air is gonna be able to pass through here and hopefully add a little extra suction. I see you. And I also see that this perfectly fits onto the clear tube. And I also installed magnets, so each section is just gonna easily snap together. And then when you want just that one piece, you take it off of the bracket from the shop vac and you have your Legos sorted. But really quick, do you guys wanna see my new toy? So I got myself a robot dog. It's gonna have to be for another day though, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will show you more of what this guy can do. He does not have a name yet though, so leave some comments down below for name suggestions of what I should name this guy. What do you think? Do you think we should get back to the build? All right, let's do it. So I rounded up all the different pieces and started gluing all the different brackets to the clear tubes. Once I had that, I could start assembling it onto the shop vac itself. Once I had all the pieces together, I could put in the hose and finally... The Lego suck it is complete. Well, I mean, it's complete in the sense that it's assembled. I don't really know if it works. I guess complete would mean that it actually works. So let's find out if it works. We will start off simple with our classic, extremely painful yellow brick. It stopped exactly where it was supposed to. Now we can just pop the red off and grab our one brick. But we all know that the real test is gonna be a whole bunch of Lego. Legos. But these things are expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice line of Legos that I can vacuum up. Maybe make it a little bit thinner and longer. And now let's give it a go. <laughs> I gotta say.
Today, I am thoroughly impressed <laughs> at how well that works. I invented the Lego Suck It, the world's first vacuum-powered Lego cleanup device that automatically sorts each brick by its individual size. This vibrant cleaning accessory features a multi-stage chamber that magnetically separates for quick organization of your favorite toy bricks. The high suction vacuum will ensure every brick is sucked up from your floors and swiftly deposited into the clear tube as each Lego piece cascades down and gets sorted into their different sizes. So when things get messy, just suck it. The Office, if you're watching right now, I need a meeting ASAP with David Wallace. There are very few things that would make me not want to team up with David Wallace. And Suck It is one of them. But overall, I think the Suck It was way more of a success than I was actually anticipating. It surprisingly works. But with that, I'm gonna put some Band-Aids on my feet because I have stepped on more Legos than I probably have in my entire life. And it doesn't feel good. So I will see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya!